If you know anything about football, then you've heard the name Kylian Mbappe. Not only is the young football superstar considered one of the best players in the world at this time, he's also the most expensive. With a 630 million euro contract extension with Paris Saint-Germain in 2022, Mbappe has made history as the sportsperson with the priciest deal ever penned. You're watching Wealthy Buddha, and today we're taking a look at Mbappe's promising career thus far and the surprising financial decisions he has made along the way. Kylian Mbappe Lawton was born in Paris, France on the 20th of December 1998. He began his football career at AS Bondi, where his youth coach Antonio Riccardi stated that he could tell Killian was different. His dribbling was already fantastic at six years old, and he was much faster than the other children. Eventually, Mbappe moved to the Clairefontaine Academy, where his performances were so impressive, they attracted interest from Real Madrid, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City, Bayern Munich, and several French clubs. In October 2015, Mbappe was brought on to join the AS Monaco reserve team, where he originally earned just 60 euros per week, or 3,120 euros annually. However, Mbappe's level of skill and maturity led to his promotion to the main squad after just three weeks. Just a few months later, in February 2016, Killian scored his first goal for the team, becoming the youngest first-team goalscorer in Monaco's history at 17 years old, a record previously held by none other than Thierry Henry. All of Mbappe's early professional achievements continued to attract attention from other clubs, leading Monaco to sign an official deal with the teenager along with a salary increase to 20,000 euros per week, or 1.04 million euros annually. Mbappe ended the 2016-2017 season with 26 goals from 44 matches while leading Monaco to win the Ligue 1 title. However, on the 31st of August 2017, Mbappe's three-year contract with Monaco would be cut short as the French club Paris Saint-Germain announced the signing of Mbappe from Monaco on a loan. This would prove to be Mbappe's biggest deal yet. Having the Spanish club Real Madrid as another big contender vying to add Mbappe to their roster, and considering Mbappe had aspired to play for Real Madrid as a child, PSG knew they had to work twice as hard to convince Kylian to sign with them. This meant that Mbappe was offered a whopping 12 million euro salary during the 2017-2018 season with PSG with the expectation of signing a permanent four-year deal with the club the following year for a total of up to 180 million euros. But that wasn't all it took for PSG to secure Mbappe and win over his father, who played a significant role in negotiations with the league. In addition to a 4.3 million euro sign-on fee, it is said that Mbappe had allegedly made a number of extra requests of the Ligue 1 giants including the request for a private jet for 50 hours per year to travel the world at no extra cost, which PSG denied. They also denied Mbappe's clause that he was to be made the club's highest paid player ahead of Neymar if he were to win the Ballon d'Or. They did, however, agree to pay around 26,000 euros per month to cover Killian's rent and the cost of the budding star's personal staff a caretake, a driver, and a bodyguard. Mbappe had officially entered the next level when it comes to sporting wages, but this deal would prove to be only the beginning. After four years of top-notch performances, including a record-breaking performance at the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia, where Mbappe became the youngest French goalscorer in World Cup history and helped lead France to victory, Killian's contract was up for renewal in May of 2022. With extensive rumors swirling that Mbappe had already come to a verbal agreement to join Real Madrid, the world was left stunned when it was announced that Killian had instead decided to stay with PSG in what quickly became known as the most expensive deal ever made in sports history. 
The young superstar had signed a three-year contract with the club that would see him earn 630 million euros in gross salary. The breakdown million euros, as well as a 70 million euro loyalty bonus if he stays at PSG club owing to a rumored broken relationship with the top hierarchy at PSG. This decision ultimately led to some criticism from fans claiming Mbappe had sold out for the money. Fans were quick to recall Mbappe's interview just a few months prior to the signing where he stated it was the life experience that counts more than making money. Killian went on to say he knew that money was important and he was happy to have the undeniable consequences which have arisen from the eye-watering numbers contained therein. The biggest problem with the Mbappe deal, as stated by Rory Smith of the New York Times, is that every time the salaries of the superstars rise, they slowly but surely drag everyone else's with them. The enormous figures in PSG's deal with Mbappe will be used as a starting point in the next set of negotiations among big players, and will ultimately become the new normal. While this won't be much of a problem for the likes of giant aristocratic clubs such as PSG and Real Madrid, other less lucrative clubs will bear the brunt of these new deals and will be forced to either swallow the extra cost of retaining talent or choose to cash in and sell on, furthering the divide between the aristocrats and everyone else. This indeed poses a threat to the health of football as a whole. Overall, Kylian Mbappe is a bright young talent and his accomplishments have been well deserved. Only time will tell just how far the consequences of his latest record-breaking deal will extend. What do you think of Mbappe's new deal and what it means for the future of football? Let us know in the comments down below and thanks for watching.